Hey guys, this is Solomon from Best Buy Mobile and today I have an unboxing of the HTC Inspire 4G from AT&T. Alright guys, let's jump right into the package. Starting from the top, we have the HT Inspire 4G Quick Start Guide. Put that off to the side for now. Um, we do have the device, so let's... The HTC Inspire, let's... Uh, Let's get this device out of here and see what else comes in the package. We have our uh, micro USB to standard USB input. Uh, we have our AC uh, USB input uh, wall adapter, and it looks like some AT&T, um, you know, advertisement promotional information um, and regulatory uh, and warranty information. We'll leave that in the package. I don't feel a battery in there, so that's already probably popped into the device itself. So we'll put off the package to the side. Uh, for anybody who isn't used to uh, what the AC adapter, um, the USB input AC adapter means, um, the USB cord simply plugs right into a USB input there. So you'd plug this into the wall, and this has a dual purpose of being used for, with that to charge it um, through a wall or plugging this directly to a computer for data transfer as well as charging. So we'll put those two off to the side as well. And let's uh, power on the device. Alright, so as we're waiting for the device to power on, let's take a little trip around the rim of the device. Starting from the right side, as you guys can see there, it is a flush side. There's no buttons on that side. At the top, we have our power button, which acts as a uh, secondary function to lock the device. Lock it, you know, so the screen is uh, not used while you're uh, locking it, and that's just like that. Uh, we have our volume rockers on the side there. And this is a new little design here. Um, on the back here, we actually have a slot which slides open and reveals our SIM card uh, and our micro uh, SD card slot and that simply goes on there and then we have another little opening here um, which pops open um, and you see a little opening a little insert there to fit your nail in or something in there and this would slide open and you would simply insert your battery there so that's actually a secondary um, opening there and uh, those are the two places you get to the internals we have a 8 megapixel camera, speaker hole, as well as our dual LED flash on the back there. We have a uh, micro USB port, of, of course, for the charging. 3.5 millimeter headset jack at the bottom. And there's our home screen. Uh, we're running Android 2.2 Froyo uh, on this particular device. Um, it is running with a 1 gig. Uh, processor uh, from Qualcomm and uh, packing a lot of punch in this uh, this really nice large screen device is a 4.3 inch um, display here um, so similar to the large displays we've seen on similar HTC devices like the Evo with Sprint and the soon to be released Thunderbolt with Verizon um, so this is kind of that same uh, um, Pretty much, you know, you would call it the Thunderbolt and, uh, and the uh, Evo's uh, cousin over at uh, AT&T. Um, it is a WVGA Super LCD screen, so we're going to have a little better quality screen than, than you would have seen on the HTC uh, Evo. Um, Built-in mobile hotspot capabilities with AT&T. It is a Wi-Fi enabled, Bluetooth enabled device as well. Um, and it does support DLNA home networking technology, so you can actually... Um, be able to uh, wirelessly uh, access media from other devices that are DLNA uh, capable. Um, has a proximity sensor uh, on the front there um, and a light sensor, ambient light sensor as well. And uh, f from what we've heard, we've heard some pretty good uh, things about the battery giving us a 12, um, 1230 milliamp lithium ion battery which according to HTC is going to give us operating times of up to six hours um, of, of talk time and about 15 days of standby 
Um, the cool thing is that um, HTC has included um, 720p video recording capabilities with the actual uh, camcorder on this device. So not only can we take great still pics with an 8, pic, 8 megapixel camera, but we can also take some pretty cool video with that HD capability. Um, it is a GSM Edge device. Um, it is a quad band device, so it does work on um, four frequencies. Uh, it's also a WCDMA device, uh, which means we get HSPA Plus technology on this device, um, and it's going to be really one of AT&T's uh, premier devices for their uh, HSPA network, which is their fastest uh, data network um, as of yet, right now. So we're going to be getting some really cool fast speeds with this device. It feels about 5 ounces. I believe the manufacturer has it listed as about 5.78 ounces, but it, it is light um, for compa comparatively speaking um, to other um, Android devices that are just as heavy duty and uh, feature packed as this particular device. Um, not really much else to say about this device guys um, but besides uh, the hardware so let's just jump into some of the menus and uh, take a little walk through let's take a look at what the da uh, dial pad looks like uh, reminiscent of the dial pad that you'll see on the Evo and the HTC Hero um, we can back button here takes us back one step if we're several things into something um, you know and like the settings and we go into uh, you know sound if I hit the back button it would only take me one step back if I want to go all the way back to my home screen I simply hit the home button and it will take me back uh, leap should be implemented in here um, and leap is giving us the feature to jump directly to one of our home screens um, and we probably can get there by simply double uh, holding on to that home button there all right, and there's the uh, we are on the HSPA uh, plus network and you guys can actually see that H plus um, symbol at the top there which lets us know we're on the HSPA uh, network so I will definitely be uh, trying all the features and apps that are already installed and installing some more um, on this great fast network that AT&T uh, provided us a couple of apps that are already pre-installed on this device are of course the Wi-Fi hotspot um, YouTube my AT&T which is a feature available um, with AT&T that allows you to actually pay uh, your bill and view your account balances and change features on your account provided that you set up at myatnt.com uh, login username and password we have our Google turn by turn navigation on here looks like we have singular at and I'm sorry looks like we have AT&T live TV on here as well HTC hub that is um, a cool feature um, that uh, is recently been implemented by HTC um, on um, this US device here. Um, Gmail, of course, Facebook, the regular usual characters. AT&T Code Scanner. So, Asphalt 5 racing game on here. Blockbuster. AT&T Navigator, which is also available on this device, um, and it is $9.99. Um, a month through AT&T. It's a great turn-by-turn -turn, uh, navigation program. Um, so there it is guys at a first glance the AT&T Inspire 4G in all its 4.3 Android 2.2 1 gigahertz processor goodness guys and this is currently available um, from AT&T you can pick it up at your local Best Buy for $99.99 with new line of service or upgrade eligibility currently prices uh, are subject to change but currently it is available for $99.99 alright guys AT&T Inspire once again want to thank HCC for providing this review unit and hopefully guys um, this uh, short video is giving you a little uh, quick look at this device and get to see what it looks like in someone's hand and how big the device is and also how thin it is. Alright guys, there you have it, the HCC Inspire 4G from AT&T. I'm Solomon from Best Buy Mobile and until the next video guys, your phone, your way.